Okay, well here we are, the room that I never wanted you to see. This is Natalie talking to future Natalie, saying don't buy more wrapping paper. No homeowner needs this many tools. Weston just kind of works like a machine. Why do we have a tomahawk? We're literally out of breath right now. Yeah. <laughs> like cleaning off those shelves. A palace. Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of Messy to Minimal. This is the series that I've been doing on my channel since January where I have gone through each room in my house and done an extreme declutter. And extreme declutter is not just a keyword that's clickable for you guys to watch these videos. It is the gospel truth of this situation. I have gone into every nook and cranny, pulled everything out, reorganized, and in the end, we've been able to get rid of over half of the stuff that we previously owned. I've done nearly every room inside of the house, but today we are taking it outside into our garage. And this is a room that I thought I would never show and never really do one of these videos for. Uh, but my husband has been laying Paid off due to all that crap going on and so he's home I have some extra help some extra muscle manpower and so together we are going to tackle this project I hope it gives you guys so much motivation I am really nervous about showing you how bad it is out there um, but all of the support and the love that you guys have given me over the last several episodes in this series has really boosted my confidence and has made me just want to lay it all out there for you guys so that you can get some motivation and extreme decluttering inspiration. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are one of those awesome people who's been along with me for this whole journey, then leave this emoji in the comments so I can say hi to you guys. And if you are new here, I will have the whole playlist for Messy to Minimal linked in the description box so you can get caught up and get even more decluttering motivation. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Head out there, you get to meet my husband, which is really fun, and we are gonna tackle this together. Okay, well here we are, the room that I never wanted you to see. <laughs> but here's something I'd like you to see. Hi. This is my hubby, Nice Weston. to meet you. It's nice that you're home. It is. Because we can do this together. This is the garage. Look at how, <gasps> oh, it's, it's awful kind of in here. Down. Oh, stop. Well, let's make it minimal. Oh my gosh. Get ready to not take anything Weston says seriously. I am sorry for the loud refrigerator that we have here. It's gonna be probably a bit annoying during the talking portions of this video, but I just kinda wanted to give you a little tour like I usually do in these episodes to show you what we're starting with. And this garage, it's the first garage we've ever actually had in a house. Weston and I had a couple of houses before this one. And it's kind of just been the spot that we have shoved stuff this is really common for people with garages we have a lot of stuff in a small space and there's a ton of stuff in here that we simply do not use there's stuff in here that we don't even know is in here because we haven't gone into some of these totes and boxes since we moved into this house three years ago this garage not only serves as storage but it's also our home gym so this area here with our home gym equipment is pretty much the only kind of organized place in this garage. Everything else is just like shoved into the corners and there's piles of stuff and we have to take care of this. I've got a pile of recycling here. Um, this is like shipping boxes because I recently made a bunch of orders for Haley's birthday. I'll be recycling these. We've got a big recycle bin over there. Um, and then this cabinet is where I keep some extra PR stuff or stuff that I get from brands that I'm just going to like pass on to family and friends. It's kind of like my gift cabinet. I have a few things in here for the kids as well and they've kind of clued into that. So I need to get locks for these doors. Um, but this cube unit was switched out with another one that I used when I rearranged the boys room. And right now it's all just kind of disheveled and there's just a bunch of random extra food things on it. I will say, like I, I am gonna pass the buck a little bit because it's true. Back here behind this little fence that we've got set up, the kids always like to climb back here and get into the stuff and so it used to be pretty organized and now it's just kind of a heap but then in front of the fence we just have a random assortment of crap this i don't even understand what's going on here easter eggs what is this like this is so bad that's what's over there over here we have lawn and garden care 
some stuff and then we have like house paint down here gardening stuff and then this shelf really has no rhyme or reason over here it's just really bad over on this wall we have a chest freezer and a fridge we won't be going through these two things in this episode because i have a fridges and freezers episode planned for this series because my inside fridge and freezer is really bad and so i'm just going to combine what's out here and what's in there and just kind of do an extra video for you guys as far as that goes but there's stuff on top of our chest freezer that needs to go i've got wrapping paper last night before i went to bed i just kind of sat down and made a list of the different categories that i think are in this garage like the stuff that we we are going to be keeping and like the different zones that we're going to be organizing into so I kind of have a game plan but I really don't know what I'm getting myself into here with everything that we are gonna find and there's going to be some garbage like stuff that we just have to throw away but the majority of what we'll do is recycle things that can be recycled we're gonna donate things that are perfectly good that can be donated and then I have a couple of pregnant sisters right now who could use some baby gear and items that we are no longer in need of I always encourage you guys to not just throw things away but to also look for ways to reduce reuse and recycle so we are going to get started in here I don't even know where we're gonna get started we'll probably do a lot of standing around and looking around and it looks like Weston's already gotten started yes ma'am so I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and let's do this put that bleep on everything, including the garage floor. So we've already gotten a lot of work done. We're in the it gets worse before it gets better stage. As I've shown in my messy to minimal videos before, everything is just kind of in the middle of the garage right now. I've got a lot of clear space through here that is going to be filled up somewhat with what I'm gonna be putting back there. But we've done the initial from this half of the garage, um, like find the stuff that needs to go and we've thrown stuff into the trailer. We have stuff set out for people who are gonna come pick it up, like family members who want this or that. And now I'm kind of in the stage where I'm strategizing how to put everything back. And as I'm putting stuff back, I am going to be getting rid of even more as I go. But I've done the initial purge. Now it's kind of like phase two for this side. We still have to do the back wall. We still have to do over here. Um, but we can only kind of work in one side at a time just because there's not a lot of room on the floor to make this sort of mess for every zone in our garage. Okay, so in order for me to move on with what's going on over here, I need to find a place for my wrapping paper, which some of it is over here. Um, and there's some for me to get rid of, some stuff that was actually left here by the previous owners of this house. Um, they installed these cool little nifty systems, um, but he is taking them off of this wall above our chest freezer because it's kind of a stupid place to have them. And then we are putting them over here 
on this wall since this is closer to my gifting area and the other stuff that I have for wrapping gifts. So we're just kind of making a little switcheroo. Can you tell I have a thing for wrapping paper? It's like my Achilles heel, seriously. I have way too much, way more than I ever use. So I'm gonna be donating some. There's some rolls that I bought years ago, like before we even lived in this house that I just brought with me. And if I haven't used them by now, I probably will never use them because I found other cute wrapping paper. So I won't need to buy wrapping paper for a while. This is Natalie talking to future Natalie saying, don't buy more wrapping paper. And I probably won't listen to that, but I'm just gonna go through this collection and find the stuff that I don't need and then hang up the stuff that I'm gonna keep in these nifty little holders over here. Oh my gosh, Weston found even more wrapping paper that had fallen behind our chest freezer. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now that is hung up and looking better, I'm going to go through this little pile of food stuff. We have some things in here that are more like bulk mm -hmm. items that we don't necessarily keep in our pantry. We have like a 50 pound bag of rice, a 50 or 25 pound bag of oats, flour, that sort of thing, and then some other stuff that doesn't really make sense to have in our pantry just because it is small in there, and it's not stuff that we regularly use, but we still want to have it on hand. Sometimes it's hard to find the difference between something that you don't use enough to justify keeping versus things that you do want to have on hand that you only rarely use. And that's gonna be different for everyone and it's gonna be different for anyone in a given season of their life. So we're just gonna go through the stuff here or I'm gonna go through the stuff while Weston works on the different area and um, put some of it back onto this little cube unit here um, that we had kind of sticking out this way. I don't know why we had it that way. It was just kind of like a barrier blocking off the pile that we had there. But we don't have a pile there anymore and we can just put stuff back onto the shelf and uh, start throwing more stuff away as we go. being able to move on to the other wall of the garage. But as we've been going through stuff here, I found several pieces of like home decor that I just kind of threw over here and was too lazy or just couldn't swim through the pile to get to these totes. So I'm gonna put that away. I also took down some of our like Easter decor in the house and I have a little pile of that waiting to go back into these totes. So I'm gonna do that. We just have a couple of things left on the floor and then we're gonna move on to like kind of our lawn and garden as well as some crafts, like project stuff that I have. Yeah. The next little phase is gonna be interesting. I knew it. So over here is looking great. We'll do more refining and stay tuned because I'm gonna do a whole tour of the garage once we're done. You're getting a little sneak peeks of the finished product. But Dad, now we're- your That's awesome! What you guys don't see behind the scenes is that the kids keep interrupting us. And I always stop the camera for that because I don't want to be taking up space on my memory card or burning up my battery, just wiping butts and making lunch and all of that. But now, as I was saying before I was interrupted, we are moving on to this shelf. And um, like over here, I already had some organization in place. So it was easy to kind of go in there. Over here, stuff is so haphazard. There is no rhyme or reason to what is on these shelves. It's gonna take a bit of doing. But now that this side has been cleared out, we now have the space to be able to work through everything, get rid of stuff that we don't need anymore, and then organize into categories on these shelves back here.
We're literally out of breath right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like cleaning off those shelves. But I want to ask you, because I'm always sharing Ooh, like interviews. my... Interviews. I'm always talking about how I go about like tackling a decluttering project and kind of the steps that I'm taking and all of that But do you have a strategy like if you could nail it down? From the great philosopher of Netflix or Amazon wherever it came out if it sparks joy. Oh my gosh. Keep it. Okay, Maria Kondo was way before Netflix. Whatever she was That's kind of where I go if do we need it keep it if we don't then I Donate if it's usable or trash it if it's not. So, so that's kind of what I'm go, going with. You it. just go thing by thing. Go by shelf and finish the shelf off, and nice. you just kind of get into a mode. It's a mode. I don't even think about it. I'm like a mindless, use, busy idiot. <laughs> hey folks, well you heard it from Weston. That's how he goes about Weston, it. The busy idiot. <laughs> I kind of when I see a huge shelf of stuff that's all very random. I kind of try to find the things that all kind of go together, stuff that I know is all in the same categories, and I'll kind of lay it out on the floor, and then I will find garbage and donatable stuff from there. Weston just kind of works like a machine. <laughs> needs this many tools um, and we don't often talk about Weston's work and we never talk about like the specifics of it or like where he works but he is a tradesman in the construction industry and so he does need this many tools for what he does for a living just so you know we can't really go much more minimal when it comes to his tools because they're the tools of his trade literally <music> Okay, Weston and I are totally exhausted. That was so much work. We worked from 11.30 or, yeah, like 11.30, 11.45 until 5.15. He is on his way to uh, donation and the dump. His trailer, as you guys saw, was so full. Um, so I'm gonna give you the tour of everything tomorrow when I'm a little bit more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Right now, I just want to give you a quick look at what the inside of our house looks like while Weston and I were working on the outside. This is what three kids left to their own devices will do to a house. We've got Mickey on the TV and uh, mac and cheese on the stove because it's that sort of day. And I will see you guys for the garage tour, the after of this whole project tomorrow. Hello, it's actually a few days later. Our initial plans for this after tour got a little derailed, but Weston is out with the kids right now doing some grocery pickups. And I just thought I would kind of give you a little tour of the garage. I'm not gonna go into each and everything because this is a much bigger room than the other rooms that I've done in our house for this series. And it has a lot more stuff in it as a result, but it has a lot less stuff than when we started this project. Weston and I kind of took a rough count of everything in the garage, as well as the things that we were getting rid of, whether we threw it away, donated it, or recycled it and we're estimating that we got rid of over 90 percent of what was in this garage in this garage there is a place for everything and everything is in its place and i couldn't be happier of course that fridge starts up as i'm about to give you guys the tour again i'm not going to give you the details of everything just kind of give you a sweeping overview this little corner is a western corner and you're going to kind of see that he and i have a different style as far as organizing goes it's a shared space so i have grace for that and respect for that but this is kind of a little corner where he has some stuff that he's holding on to until he can kind of find better spots for it as the weather improves and then you guys have seen this before kind of like my organization of our home decor, seasonal home decor. We got spring and summer, fall decor totes here. 
kids decor, I actually have to get Haley's little white Christmas tree down from there because we're gonna set that up as part of her decorations for her little frozen theme, little family birthday party that we're having tomorrow for her birthday, the day I'm filming this. And then we have some other Christmas totes. Down here, here's another couple of things that we are holding on to. These are the boys' old Brytax car seats, which are perfectly good. We're probably gonna pass them on to some family members, but we're not to that point yet. I still have to kind of clean them up. So they just have a little home sitting here in front of this tote of totes. I have this little tote here that has storage bins, storage cubes, little like organizing solutions and stuff in it that I will pull from as I, you know, organize and do different stuff around the house. The little section of like camping gear, lawn chairs, little tent for the kids. I have some weatherproof and like mouse proof bags that I'm gonna end up putting this flour and rice and oats into. But for right now, they're just sitting right here and we have never seen so much as a mouse dropping in our house or even in this garage. So we're probably fine with this. I just wanna take some extra precautions. So those are there for now. And then we just have some holdover of what I was talking about earlier, just some bulk foods, some stuff that's extra. Like I said before, this is the gift cabinet. I'm not gonna open it up because I have some like goodies and giveaways and stuff and stuff that I'll pass on to like family and friends that I know they watch my videos sometimes. So I don't wanna really kind of dive into there. For that we have our travel stuff. So we have a tent, we have our luggage, a um, pack and play, some sleeping bags, an air mattress, nothing to see here, hot water tank, water softener, and my uh, wrapping paper that you guys saw. You guys also saw me go through these drawers here and there is nothing in them anymore, but I think I'm gonna end up putting some craft supplies in there. Again, this garage is a work in progress. I don't think we're gonna land specifically on this arrangement. The bigger task at hand was just to get rid of what we do not need anymore. So stuff will shift and change and that's just kind of how it is with a family. And um, these drawers are just empty for right now and they're sitting there. I have these shelves that we organized, just have like automobile care, we have a set of jumper cables and some snow chains for tires and all sorts of different turtle wax and random automotive care. And then on this shelf, I have some stuff for my house plants. Um, there's not too much here because I actually keep some of that stuff under the sink in our kitchen. And on this shelf, I just kind of have like the house paint and maintenance. So, you know, family with kids, we get dings and nicks and holes in our walls. So I have like a wall repair kit, I have like this grid patcher, and then little um, brushes for painting, of course, painter's tape. In this bucket, I have like stain, wood stain, and like lamb's wool and sanding blocks and stuff like that for when I work on like building shelves and stuff, which I have more projects planned, so good to keep that stuff on hand. And then this is our paint can. I was able to get rid of some of the stuff that the previous owners left for us um, because when we moved in here, and I'll show you guys a little before and after here, previous owners had the interior of the house painted bright purple, bright green, just very not my style. So that was literally the first thing we did when we bought this house. Like the day we got the keys, we hired painters and they left us all of the paint cans that they used and I was able to get rid of the old paints that we will we would never paint our house purple or or bright green. So um, those are gone. I was able to purge down this collection, but it can't get much smaller because you need paint to patch. Then over here, I just have a tote of like my canvas painting. I used to do this a lot and I'd like to get back into it. I do it every once in a while. There's some other craft supplies in this drawer which could probably get transferred over to here. Um, I have some toys for the kids. This is like a snow saucer, some summertime little like sand toys here. We have lawn and garden, so like garden soil, extra grass seed. And over here, I am not gonna go through everything because I don't know what these things are. Like I was showing you before, Weston has a lot of tools and this is how he arranged them. He just kind of kept it all to this side and um, stacked things a little higher than what I can reach, but he can, no problem being a foot taller than I am. But there's our fridge and chest freezer that I'm going to messy to minimal in a different episode like I told you. And then the rest of the garage is just our workout area. He has his squat bench and free weights over here. We ended up putting our treadmill here and don't worry, the treadmill is portable. So technically it can be in front 
of that um, electrical box. It's no problem just to slide it out really quick. It's very lightweight so we can access like the breaker box and stuff like that. So that is the grand tour of the messy to minimal garage. And I am feeling so good about this. Like it's only been in this organized state for I think a total of like three days, maybe just like two and a half. And it has made such a difference already to how we come out and get you know food or access the fridge or Weston in his workouts. You guys know that I don't do these projects to be Pinterest worthy. We don't have perfectly labeled matching bins or boxes that are all like ticky tacky and perfect. Someday that might happen. I know Weston, he's a very visual person and he might really have the motivation to do that someday. But this, like I said, it was more about just getting rid of the stuff that we no longer needed. We hauled stuff to the dump. My sister came by, um, my sister Christina, who still hasn't had her baby the day I'm filming this video. Maybe by the time it goes up, she would have had her baby. Um, but she came over and grabbed an ergo and two totes of baby girl clothes. And it just makes me so happy to be able to pass that stuff on. And I might have another baby someday, but I definitely don't want to be uh, just wasting storage space on the if I have another baby. I took out a couple of really sentimental things for like a memory box for Haley. Um, but if for some reason we do expand our family or I get pregnant again and I do want some of it back, I'll just, you know, message her and say, hey, do you have any of that stuff still? And if she does, great. If she doesn't, no big deal. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I wanted Weston here to say goodbye to the video with me, but he is being super dad right now and he's taking care of the kids while I film this little tour for you. So give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy seeing Weston. Help me with this messy to minimal project. I could not have done it without him. I am so happy with the result. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and catch up on my other messy to minimal episodes in this series by following the link in the description box to the playlist. And don't forget to share it with a friend if you think someone else in your life could use a little bit of extreme decluttering motivation going room by room in my house and getting rid of, I mean, it's probably closer to 75% of our stuff at this point has been life changing. And I can't wait to share with you guys a recap video. I'm gonna be going through each room that I did these messy to minimal projects on in a few months and showing you like how it's all going and what things need further improvement, what things have remained, and just kind of like a final recap and my thoughts and stuff like that. So subscribe and turn the bell button on so you don't miss that or any of my other videos. I'm gonna sign off now. Thank you so much for watching today's video and spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later.